Hey everybody, I'm back and yes, I understand I missed last week, but that was because I actually had to do some work and I could not make it to Weight Watchers. Um, but I do want to recap how the last two weeks have gone. Um, I guess last the previous week was coming off of Super Bowl Sunday and I basically had a free for all day. Um, I tracked in the morning, but once I got to the party we were invited to, I did not, and I know I ate a lot, and I fully, 100% expected it, um, but what, oh my gosh, where was I going with, oh yeah, and what I didn't expect was that actually the foods that I indulged in, I only really felt like one of them was worth it. Um, I really could have done without the, you know, as many beers as I had, um, I could have gone without so many just sort of like snacks throughout the the game, but the cookie cake that we brought from Walmart, yeah, Walmart of all places, makes the best cookie cake, and that was that was amazing. So I totally, oh my god, excuse me, I do not regret the cookie cake at all. So um, then, following that that weekend. Um, I actually got an allergic reaction to something. Um, I'm not entirely 100% sure what caused it. Um, I think it was some lip stuff that I tried at my neighbor's house at a different kind of like party, you know, like one of those product parties, like a Tupperware party, but it's, it's not really a party, you know what I mean? So I tried this lip stuff. Um, I think it was that, uh, I'm... I really don't know, but I'm, I'm guessing it's that. But anyway, I got like um, an allergic reaction on my lips. And it was, I've had this reaction before and normally I can feel it coming on and I, I did actually feel it coming on. So I did what I normally do, which is to go get a Zyrtec and usually it just, it takes it all away. Well, this time I needed not only Zyrtec, but I needed Benadryl on top of it. Like it was just, it was pretty intense. So I was in, had nagging pain. Um, it made me cranky <laughs> and then I was starting to feel kind of guilty about Sunday and all this stuff and it was just like piling and piling on me. Not to mention I started strength training um, more at the gym in addition to my regular workouts and I was not wise and I did not foam roll or do any mobility after the hard workouts and I was incredibly sore. So. Physically, I just was feeling like crap. And then it, it affected me mentally and I just was not feeling that great. I did, however, sort of like reel it in and kind of have a reality check uh, later in the week, um, which then led us to Valentine's Day. Um, my husband and I decided uh, we were not gonna go out to dinner. Um, one, to save money, and two, it's always so crowded that it kind of ruins it. And three, I am still on the nutrition challenge at the gym. And so a lot of things that you would order at a restaurant aren't, aren't really compliant and, or I don't, won't know what goes into a dish and um, I'll, it, it'll just make it not fun. So we went to the butcher, the local butcher, and got two porterhouse steaks. Uh, <laughs> And we were like, okay, we're gonna make steaks and I'm gonna make asparagus and we'll be, it'll be great. Now, porterhouse steak, in case you have not looked it up, um, it is a fattier cut of meat. It is high in points. Um, I chose to track it as Longhorn's 20 ounce steak because literally that's how big the steaks were. Um, and it, that, that, is 32 points I will just let you know and I fully understand that Longhorn probably uses butter but so did we so I just was like alright I'm gonna pre track it I'm gonna pre plan my day uh, I'm not gonna eat too much protein because I'm gonna get all my protein I need for the day out of the steak and I was really excited about it I was like eating really well that whole day and then we go to cook <laughs> and my husband got a one of the pan, the cast iron pan like really really hot and he goes to sear the steaks 
and there's a lot of smoke coming and I'm like, you know, I feel like this is probably going to set the fire detectors off. And he's like, oh, it's not a big deal. You know, we'll just, you know, press the button, reset it, whatever. So I'm meanwhile grilling asparagus on like a griddle, like a cast iron griddle on the stove and everything's going fine. And then the fire detectors go off, the smoke alarms go off and I'm trying to push the reset button, but there's like six going off at once and the reset button's not working. Like it, they just are continuing to be deafeningly loud. So I'm running around like opening windows, opening doors. Like I had this huge pillow. I'm like fanning everything. Like I, you know, like when you live in an apartment, that's what you do, but we're in a house, but you know, it still applies. So I realize, oh my God, I'm not tending to the asparagus. So I turn off, I just turn off the burners thinking, well, if they, I don't know how far they were, but I think they needed a little more time. So the heat from that will cook it through. It'll be fine. Meanwhile, my husband's running around disabling, like taking the fire alarms off the, off the ceiling <laughs> uh, to shut them up while I'm like turning on fans and everything and guarding the back door so the cat doesn't get out. And um, he almost like overcooks the steak. <laughs> Luckily that did not happen. He did not overcook the steak. It was maybe a little more done than I would have liked, but um, you know, whatever. It was a little saltier than we anticipated it being. Um, but what's interesting is the next day when I had, there was like a little bit of leftovers. I had that and it wasn't too salty. It was actually really, 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 really good. It was like even way better than the day that we made it. So maybe just needed more time to rest. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but Anyway, um, we went to go plate it and my asparagus was charred, like black. Um, I, you know, like I, I'll eat a, I'll, I'll overcook a few things and still eat it, but this was like charcoal dust, asparagus dust. Like it was not edible. I had maybe five asparagus spears that I salvaged from the charred mess. Um, <laughs> So that was kind of a disappointment. It was kind of a wacky Valentine's Day. Um, I did not actually want any wine for once. That's kind of a first. And um, I did have berries for dessert. Uh, my husband was very smart and got me candles for Valentine's Day and actually some unicorn light up slippers because I love unicorns and who doesn't need slippers? Uh, but they have not arrived yet. And I got him some, a, it was like a heart shaped box um, but instead of chocolates inside, it was beef jerky. So <laughs> he, he thought that was cute. And, you know, we just, I don't know, we just sort of didn't make it a bigger deal than it needed to be. And I really appreciated that and enjoyed it and had a good time. So I got right back on track Monday, the, you know, this week, um, I've been feeling awesome about my efforts this week. Uh, went to Weight Watchers this morning and was up 0.4. And honestly, I feel like that's a win because over two weeks, it's basically maintaining my weight and that's dealing with Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, feeling physically pained <laughs> and having a ton of Benadryl, which I don't know if you know, but stuff like that will kind of clog like dry you out and you won't be as regular like you you have to it just sort of puts a stop on everything <laughs> so once i got off the benadryl and the zyrtec and everything like that um everything sort of resumed normal functioning and it was good to go so i'm really happy about this week um last week they talked about fitness i believe yeah the fit break and just like finding five minutes or like a minute or something. I don't know. They, they want you to use this new app that I don't even understand how it works because I got it and it didn't, didn't make sense to me. But um, Fit Break, basically just finding like one minute um, or just little things to, to keep yourself moving. You know, um, when you're, it looks like this person likes to do push-ups on the edge of the kitchen counter while they're cooking or doing dishes or cleaning up. I guess if you don't exercise or you wanna move more, I mean, I do sit at a desk all day, so really I should move more during the day, but I chase after the animals who are, I don't know if you can hear, probably not. They are ringing the bell to go outside right now and driving me up a wall. 
Um, so this week was about loving yourself and fulfillment. You know how Weight Watchers right now is talking about food, fitness, and fulfillment as like this trifecta of greatness. Well, this week is all this. I guess last week was about fitness. It's always about food, in my opinion. Um, and this week is about fulfillment. So they want you to write a love letter, love note to yourself. It's sort of like a Mad Lib, except not funny. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess you could make it funny, but uh, my leader talked about filling either this out or writing a poem about yourself. You know, like a, if your name is, my name is Sarah, so it'd be S and then you'd pick a word and that, that starts with S to describe yourself and A, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm kinda not into, I don't, I don't know if I really wanna do this. Every day I actually write down three things that are positive about my day. That's sort of how I get my, I guess, fulfillment out of the life um, and keep me positive. And um, so I, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about myself and, and everything and my strength right now. And yeah, so anyway, do what you wanna do. Write yourself a love poem, I don't care. Honestly, I fully enjoy doing my nails. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, for that one. Valentine's Day, had to have it, have them done. Um, <laughs> that sort of makes me happy, but do something, I guess, that makes you realize how much you love yourself. Because you do, you just may not always realize it. And yeah, I'm sorry I've been blabbering for 12 minutes now. I'm going to go, and I'll see you next week. Bye.